Hey everyone and welcome back to a new painting video. Since it's now spooky season I thought this would be a perfect time to share this painting. I created it a few months back and it's of a peacock tarantula. Anyone who knows me will think I'm crazy for doing this because I'm not only scared of spiders but I also just don't like them. Like it's now spider season and thankfully I've only seen one really massive spider but the others I've seen have been dead ones. Most likely because my cats are doing pest control during the night and and they're already dead on the floor and we don't have to deal with chucking them out or anything. So yay for cats. Since I'm scared of spiders, I have to say the peacock tarantula is, is kind of beautiful. I think it's mostly because of their blue colour that makes them less intimidating than other spiders or tarantulas rather. But they do look rather majestic and not too creepy looking. I don't know if in a way this is like a sort of therapy exercise for working through my fear of spiders by staring at one to paint it. Anyway, because we're on the topic of spooky season and Halloween, there's a lot of dark horror content being pushed out there. A series I've recently watched, and I know a lot of other people out there have watched it since it's number one trending on Netflix, is a new Jeffrey Dahmer series with Evan Peters. And can I just say, Evan Peters, I, I really hope he's getting the therapy he needs after playing all of these dark serial killer kind of roles not just in Dharma but all of like American Horror Story all of those seasons like he plays some really twisted characters so I hope he's doing good. I do see some controversy about the Dharma series and how people are boycotting the show because it's re-traumatizing the victims families and friends and there wasn't any permission from like the victims families and how it's being made for entertainment and to be honest I do kind of understand that the permission from the victims family you know I do understand that point and also I do know that this isn't the first time Jeffrey Dahmer's story and the victim stories have been told on TV though that's the thing yes this is a Netflix series but also there have been like movies and podcasts and other TV shows about this case it's a bit of a grey area I suppose if people don't really want to watch it then that's completely their choice but I do feel like after watching the series like this was an entertainment. I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts and videos but it's more out of interest and awareness. Not just awareness of the cases and the victims but awareness of the behaviours of the horrible people that did these horrible crimes. I did have to turn off the series at times and switch to something a bit more lighthearted because that series was really intense. Like that's all I can say. The fact these actors were able to convey emotions and portray these people so well and I appreciate that they gave more insight into the victims too. More about the kind of people that they were and their personalities and more of their backstory and their families. I feel like that is something that can be overlooked and not really touched on in true crime we tend to hear more about serial killers or like you know, the people who are doing the crimes. We hear more about their past and their childhood and how they were growing up but we don't often get a sense of who the victims were or hear much about their personal story so I like that they did that in this series. One thing I found out afterwards is that Jeffrey Dahmer's mum wanted his brain examined after he had passed but his dad didn't want that and the judge ordered he be cremated. I think it would have been really interesting if his brain was examined to see if if there were like any irregularities or something that caused him to be the way that he was just to see if it was a physical thing in his brain that made him the way he was or if it was just some kind of twisted dark nature inside of him but I guess that's one thing we won't really know. If you haven't watched the Dharma series I'd recommend watching it but do with caution because there are a lot of intense moments and if you need to take a break from it to watch something else or you know to just kind of relax and chill then do that. I just want to give you guys caution. I know this is a bit of a short video but I hope you liked it nonetheless and if you have watched Dharma let me know what you thought of it or if you're watching something else or excited to watch something spooky that's coming up because it's nearly Halloween leave it in the comment section and we can chat. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!